Today we rebuild the Panthers, and things got a bit hectic. Come on, Darnold, when I need you the most. I'm taking it, why not? He's the Heisman winner. Oh my god. Darnold. Darnold? So I am extremely close to hitting 2,000 subscribers. And if this is your first time here, please scroll down, hit subscribe. I highly recommend it if you find this video enjoyable. Also, 130 likes on this video. I know you guys can do it. You guys smashed the goal with the last rebuild. So let's keep that momentum rolling, baby. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Yo, my name is Pumvongsa. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back today. We got the Carolina Panthers, man. This team's off to a hot start in real life. You know, they're currently 3-0 at the time of recording this. Sam Darnold looks good. And they just traded for one of the best cornerback prospects of last year's draft. So they're making moves. And it is definitely exciting times to be a Carolina Panthers fan out there. Um, you know, they got a super young, super exciting team. So this one should definitely be fun, man. But without wasting any more time, let's get into it. 79s across the board here overall. Offense, defense, you already know, man. And they're QB1. Sam Darnold. I would just like to start off by saying shout out to Sam Darnold because I bet on him to get the first touchdown against the Texans and um he actually did it which was wild I was so hyped so big shout out to Sam Darnold but he's looking great so far at the start of this season which was what I was expecting last year in my you know Madden 21 rebuild of them I said this is the perfect situation for him he's still super young like everybody's giving up on him or doing all that good stuff dude he's 24 years old like that's crazy that's really that really is crazy and Sam Darnold's doing his thing now I couldn't be any happier because I love when people write people off and they go to you know maybe a different situation or they just blossom as a player in general and they they become a good player so shout out to Sam Darnold and uh shout out to him for getting that first hoodie for me <laughs> running backs we of course have CMC Christian McCaffrey the simulation god himself I couldn't be any more excited to finally be able to use this man because he wins MVP like every single season so hopefully you know we can go crazy with him and we can break all sorts of records that's what I'm looking forward to because CMC is definitely like that fantasy football legend as well shout out Freeman and shout out to Chuba Hubbard who I'm gonna make my number two receiver core pretty nice Robbie Anderson bro is not off to a great start in real life at all and I'm, I'm still confused why he's an 87 overall. I'm just going to be real with you. He's a good player. No doubt about that. But is he really better than AJ Brown? Is he really better than DJ Moore? DJ Moore is amazing, bro. Super, super underrated. Like back-to-back -back pretty much 1,200-yard seasons. He does have that superstar development, though, to be fair. And is just 24 years old. DJ Moore is so good. And he's off to a great start in real life just as well. He's finding his little chemistry with Sam Darnold. So shout out to that. And then we got Terrace Marshall Jr. as well, the LSU wide receiver. I don't know where his picture is, but he's a good little player. They drafted him, I think, at the tail end of the second round. And he was a guy that I could have seen go like early seconds. So um, great pick by them. I would like to see Terrace Marshall glow and grow and blossom for us. So I'm going to make sure to do that the best of my ability. Tight ends, we got Ian Thomas. Of course, they did have Dan Arnold, but they traded him for someone that you'll see just in a little bit. But they got Tommy Tremble as well, who does have that star development. I'm guessing it's star development. Where is his picture, bro? Why do these rookies not have pictures? Tommy Tremble, though, shout out to him. Their um, pick this year in the 2021 draft class. And I believe he scored on Thursday as well on like a little jet pass. So... Very nice. I'm going to give him a face because um, that's going to bother me. Bro, why is this guy's head so small? I'm making it this guy. Why? <laughs> Wait, what? Is his face, is his face going to be that small here? Oh my God. His face looks so weird. It's like a, it's like a slim oval. I don't even know, but what's up, Tommy, Tommy Trembro? <laughs> Offensive line looks a tad bit rough. I'm not going to lie with you. I thought it looked a little bit better than this, but hey, Taylor Moten, right tackle, really good right tackle. I think they tagged him in real life as well, so definitely will look to solidify that position and bring him back. John Miller, um, I mean, we got the GOAT here, Michael Jordan himself. Do I just start Michael Jordan? Only 23 years old. No, I'm kidding. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to move Brady Christensen to right guard. Dude, they literally just the, the Carolina Panthers just skipped picture day. Made Christensen a right guard and he is the same rating as well. Look at that. He just looks like an offensive lineman now. He looks like a tank. Paradis center He's a little bit older. I flying they brought in Cam Irvings here as well. Definitely got to upgrade O-line in the future defensively. You know, I said last year in my rebuild of them, this team is going to be really good, bro. It's built really good and it was still extremely young. You give them, you give these players, you know, another year or so. They're going to be really good. Look at how they are in real life. They're one of the best defenses so far. Of course, we know Brian Burns. That boy is elite. Nothing needs to be said about Burns. He's amazing. Daquan Jones, cool. Derek Brown, their number... Seven overall pick last year, the highest rated defensive lineman in that class. Derek Brown's a beast. Unfortunately, though, 
did go down to star, so that kind of sucks for us. Morgan Fox is I, but I'm going to start Yatur Gross Matos, who they also picked in 2020. He's got that star dev. Cornerback group's pretty decent, man. They got AJ Bouye, who they brought in this season. Dante Jackson's been solid for the years he's been in the league. And CJ Henderson, who they just traded for from the Jaguars. They gave up a third round pick. And Dan Arnold. And got themselves a former top 10 overall pick just two seasons ago. That's ridiculous. I think that's a steal. Especially if CJ Henderson, you know, lives up to the hype that um, had was had on him once he was coming out the draft. And if he just wants to be here, he did not want to be in Jacksonville. Now he's on a team that's currently 3-0, is competing. And if he can live up to the hype, man, he is going to be... One, that's going to be one of the biggest steals, honestly. I think CJ Henderson's great. And to partner alongside him, we got JC Horn, who also skipped picture day. Horn, you can you can be this guy. You can be face number 26. Now there's a lot of like there was a lot of question marks for their the Panthers drafting, you know. They could have went Justin Fields. Although I do feel like Sam Darnold fits the timeline of this team just a little bit more cuz he's a little bit more established in the league. So, and this team's looking to win now. Honestly, it really is. They could have went Rashawn Slater to beefing up this O-line because it doesn't look too great here and Rashawn Slater has looked really good. However, this was their favorite cornerback in the class, J.C. Horn. They went with it, so I'm not going to complain about that at all. And while he was playing, or before he got injured, and hopefully he gets better, I think he just broke his foot. J.C. Horn looked really good. So if he can keep playing like he does and C.J. Henderson can get better, like this is a cornerback duo to look out for for many years to come. And I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with him. Because do I want J.C. Horn to be our number th four? Not really. Honestly, A.J. Bouye just... just, just just get down the pecking order, bro. <laughs> Free safeties, we got Jeremy Chen. Arguably, could have won defensive rookie of the year last year. You know, Jeremy Chen was phenomenal for them right off the bat. He was so good. He was playing like the little linebacker hybrid as well. He's amazing, man. Now, same thing can't really be said at strong safety. I, I'm not too sure what's going on here. It doesn't look great, but uh, <laughs> we'll look to upgrade that in the future. Linebackers will start off with Hassan Reddick, who had a breakout season last year. You know, he finally played at that like edge rusher type role instead of like dropping back in coverage. And Hassan Reddick was really good. And that signing I do really like for this team. I know we're in um we're in a 4-3 right now. This team probably is better suited to a 3-4. You know, Richard Gross Matos would be starting. Maybe even move Burns back to outside linebacker to partner alongside Riddick, but I'm going to keep it like this for now. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably change it in the future, though. Jermaine Carter Jr. is cool. And then Shaq Thompson as well. Rounds off a pretty stingy-looking defense, and it's been really good in real life, too. Specialist, and let me start Terrace. I didn't give him a face. That was disrespectful. I'm sorry, Terrace. Got him rocking with them braids now. Okay. Okay, Terrace. I see you. CMC here. Obviously, CJ Henderson or JC Horn? Slot cornerback. Mm, I think whoever I put here, you know, maybe they, their stats will be a little... Um, fluctuated it would be a little bit better so I'm gonna make it JC Horn because he's he's one of our own you know what I mean Brian Burns here of course I'm gonna make your turn gross Matos the number two rush D tackle son Riddick of course I rush right in Shaq Thompson Jermaine Carter Jr. no playbook changes but as I found out in my Chargers rebuild I used the Panthers playbook for the first time and it was it was pretty insane especially to the running back and we have a pretty good running back so let's see how it goes as we are five and two by the way this division super tough Buccaneers Saints always are amazing on simulation and in real life but falcons um have not looked good by the way i did um get the real life wins so we are we we, we did start off three no so don't worry about that and the falcons are down tremendously bad we got a breakout player here who can this be jermaine carter jr um i kind of wish it was somebody else i'm not gonna lie but um if you can do your thing do your thing we're playing the falcons so <laughs> got some contracts to go over as well riddick was it really only a one-year deal dante jackson I would probably like to bring back, especially with Horn and CJ still on a pretty cheap contract for a little bit more time. There's actually nobody really here else as well. Let's probably bring Riddick back. It's a chunky deal. I'm not going to lie. Five years. Mm, I think he's a part of my future. I think he's a part of my future. I'm bringing him back. Let's get him and Brian Burns. Let's get that connection going a little bit, just like Vaughn Miller and Bradley Chubb and the Broncos franchise series. If you guys haven't seen that. Go check that out because that series is fire. Dante Jackson, I'm just going to sign him because Dante Jackson is good. Matt Parrott is 31. Can probably walk. Honestly, everybody else here can probably walk. I don't really mind it too much, but hey, we're joint top of the division right now with the reigning Super Bowl champion, so you can't be too mad. Hopefully, Darnold can uh, go crazy and hopefully go up to star. That's, that's what I really want here in year one and to make playoffs and maybe win a Super Bowl. That wouldn't, that wouldn't be bad either. Week 18 and bang. We okay. I thought we missed the playoffs because we, we were third in the division, but hey, we're still 11 and 6. Saints actually ended up on top, though. They were third. 13 and 4. Jesus, man. Statistics. Mahomes, Tom Brady, Russell Wilson's usuals. Nick Chubb. 
Derrick Henry, Camaro. Where is CMC? I swear every rebuild I do, CMC is on the top of everything. So now that I have him, he's not here. Of course, Mike Evans, Jamar Chase, number two. Jamar Chase is off to an absolute amazing start in real life, by the way. Um, that touchdown catch, that one long one he had against the Steelers was absolutely gorgeous. Shaq Barrett, 21 sacks. Jesus, he is the sack king, bro. Desmond King, six picks, as well as Grant Haley. Kenneth Murray Jr. with, what am I saying, with the, the most tackles. Yeah, um, <laughs> Darnold. Pretty good season. Let's be real. Six in offensive yards. Yes, sir. Ooh. First. Is Panthers playbook it? I have not. I have not yet decided on what good defensive playbooks there are. Is Panthers playbook like that, Darnold? 4,500 yards. I round up for my guy there. 30 touchdowns. 12 interceptions. Not too bad. I'm hoping that can get him up to start development. CMC. Oh my god, I mean, he wasn't he wasn't on the top three thing, but I mean, still an unbelievable year. 1,600 yards for him, 5.2 a carry, 18 touchdowns. That is unbelievable. Shout out to Chuba, who I didn't give a picture, my bad. Yeah, this playbook is wild for running backs. Christian McCaffrey, 1,100 receiving yards as well. 11 touchdowns, my god. Robbie, DJ Moore, what didn't do? DJ Moore was out there doing cardio, bro. What? Tommy Trumbull was okay. Terrace Marshall was actually pretty good. DJ Moore. I need more from DJ Moore. Come on, bro. CJ CJ Anderson leads the way for tackles, man. That's a it's a little bit weird, not gonna lie. You turn gross Montos, 15 TFLs, 14 for Brian Burns, 13 Derek Brown, and 12 for Reddick himself. 11 and a half sacks for Burns, 11 for Reddick. Let's go. I love these two. They're my they're the partnership for the future as well. Shaq Thompson with seven. You turn gross Montos and Derek Brown with six as well. A ton of sacks for everybody. JC Horn in the slot. Four interceptions. Please go up to Superstar because you receive your one in the class, baby. Um, three for my boy Justin Burris, the strong safety. Maybe I won't go another direction. Two for um, Dante, two for CJ Henderson as well. Who did we have in the wild card round? We had the <laughs> we had the Rams. Really? That is that is a tough matchup. The Rams look so good in real life right now. Matthew Stafford honestly could have won MVP. He could win MVP because of how good that team is not, not, and how good Matthew Stafford is. He's been this good. He was just on the Lions. And they were they were not as good as his Rams team, let's be real. But we went 11-6. They went 11-6. We're going to beat them because we're better. Psych. Oh, isn't this... Isn't this Jackson Mahomes' brother? CMC, of course, is your offensive player of the year. Shaq Barrett wins it there. Fields was the um, offensive rookie of the year. Chuba, Chuba and Terrence, three and four. Love that. Love that. Zayvon Collins just beats out JC Horn. I really wanted JC Horn to win that. Shout out CMC, though. JC Horn was number two for best DB as well. Buda Baker. Buda Baker just in front of him. Dang, if he could have won that, I would have been. A little bit more confident that he could go up to superstar but look offensively i just want sam darnold for his development's sake please go up to star he doesn't he actually doesn't that sucks tommy tremble of course star dude that head that head is throwing me off man dude's got a weird head shape all right defensively we were number one in the league give me something you give me shaq thompson i i Football is romantic, baby. Shout out to the Packers. 40-34. Aaron Jones, MVP. I don't believe there was anybody we were bringing it back anyway. So I'm just going to go to free agency right now. We got about 35 mil to spend. Use my staff points on like the contracts and some of the trades as well. All of them. And we, in free agency, got, got like Teron Armstead. Vaughn Miller here as well. We don't really need Vaughn Miller. Teron Armstead would be cool, but like... Eh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll want him or not. Wow, okay. I got Matt Paradis back, but Chris Barnes rejected me. That's kind of whack. I know Tron Armstead was there, and he would have been nice for us, but I think I'm just going to look for that in the draft. I don't know. I just didn't really want to sign him. Dante Hightower is 32 years old now. Superstar dev. I think I'm just going to give him a one-year deal, and he can play that position for us. We did lose Jermaine Carter, and then I'm probably going to be looking for a middle linebacker in the draft as well. But Dante Hightower can just be like a safety blanket. And we do get him. Welcome, Hightower. And we got our kicker, Quavo X Blanco, baby. Start the National Football League draft, where we're going to have pick number 20. Falcons down absolutely tremendously bad there. Heisman winner, of course there's not. I'm looking for offensive linemen, strong safety, Maybe a linebacker as well. And we don't... Yeah. Mm, I forgot about that. We don't have we don't have round two for the Sam Darnold trade. We don't have round three for the CJ Henderson trade. That is a bit tough. So I'm really only going to have to... Um, I'm really going to have one player to hear. A few moments later. Um, We're in year two now. I just realized I wasn't recording that session because I had to stop it for a moment. And then I, I went back to the draft, carried on. 
and did everything, but I, I accidentally forgot to press record. Okay, um, that's my fault. Um, I apologize. We did have a really good draft, though. I traded up in the second round. I gave away a future third round pick and then Morgan Fox to go up to number 44 with the Vikings to get um, their second, obviously, and then a future third round pick as well, where we got ourselves Zach Callaway here, who was a early third round projection. He skipped the combine and he was an early first round talent. He looks unbelievable. And then with my first round pick at number 20, I believe it was, I went with Marco Woods, a strong safety here. He's also hidden development. He was number two in the class or number three, something like that. And then uh, Callaway was actually number one. So amazing. And I'm also going to move Yatur Gross Matos inside. I can't believe I just did that, but here we go. You're number two, 82 overall now, 81 offense, 85 defense. That is going up very nicely. We got the same O-line as last year. There really wasn't anything in the draft that I wanted. Tommy Tremble with his weird head is progressing nicely. Darnold, please go up to star. That's all I want. Defensively, we just look so insane. Like, actually, we got down to Hightower now, who's like on a little one-year rental. AJ Bouye, I swear I made you my number four last year. You're going back to number four because I want JC Horn and I want CJ Henderson to get all the reps. All the reps. I'm excited to see what Woods and Callaway are as well. For the specialist section, Marshall back in the slot. Let's put a Horn back at slot here because he was really good last season. And I think everything else here is pretty good to me. I don't think we got to change any playbooks or anything like that because we were really good. We made the playoffs as well, and I think the team's only going to get better because it's still extremely young, and I just want to apologize again for uh, missing out on that draft because it was a sick one, bro. Like, I've never done that before. I always do something stupid, but I've never done that, and we're now we're 3-4. and four. Now everything's going to go downhill, bro. Are you kidding me right now? 3-4 and four, last year, we were, what, 5-2? and two? So not looking too good. I think we were third in the division, but here we go. Devies. Marco Woods is only star. That sucks because he was my first round pick. Callaway, though, Callaway's got that boy got no snaps. <laughs> We're second in the division, actually. So I think the Bucks are six and one. Burns, yes. DJ Moore, yes. Dante Hightower, no. Sam Darnold, yes, sir. I want Sam Darnold this entire video. I also want Burns of Brian for this whole video as well. So come back to Carolina. Thank you. DJ Moore wants a lot of money. Maybe I play him in the slot so we can go crazy. He's happy to stay as well. He's up to a 90, so you love to see it. And then last but not least, Sam Darnold, of course, who really doesn't want anything crazy. I mean, he's only 77 and normal, so I guess it makes sense. Sam, please go up, bro. Last year, you were definitely good enough. We made the playoffs as well. I don't know why he doesn't go up, but we're going to sign them back. Let's go to the playoffs. The Bucks are 5-1. and one. We're, not, we're not too far behind, but the Saints, remember last year, they had like a second half resurgence, so kind of scared of them, even though they did lose Jameis. I saw him in free agency. 9-8, and eight, we make the playoffs, thankfully. Saints 8-9, and nine, Bucks 13-4. and four. By the way, the Falcons have a superstar quarterback now that they drafted number one overall, so a little bit scary. With the uh, stats, Mahomes, Brady, and Ian Book. Every QB in this division is crazy. CMC number three there. Love that as Henry and Zeke lead the way. Jay Jetta and Christian McCaffrey had 1,500 receiving yards. Okay, whoever Mario Edmonds is. Emmanuel Ogba, 19 sacks. We're getting some cool names here. X, of course, leads the way for interceptions made. Kenneth Murray Jr. for tackles made. Statistically, six in offensive yards again. I believe that's what we were last season. Not too shabby. Defensively, <laughs> Okay, that went down 17 spots, surprisingly. I don't know why. 4,200 yards for Darnold, 31 tutties, 14 interceptions. I think that's a worse season than last year, and we have a worse record, so I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, well, I mean, we already saw his stats. Ridiculous. Almost 1,900 yards, 5.7 to carry, and 2-2 two, two touchdowns, and he almost had 1,500 yards. Jesus, dude, holy. That is an unbelievable season. What is that, 3,200 yards he just put up? 3,300 yards, honestly. That's that's outrageous. DJ Moore, Terrace Marshall, Robbie were just time and trouble. We're just we're just watching McCaffrey do his thing. That is insane, bro. Shaq Thompson, 130 tackles for him, tackle for losses, 16 for Brown, 15 for Riddick, Burns, Gross Matos getting there as well. Sack numbers 15 for Burns this time. Love it. Riddick with 10 and a half. Yatur Gross Matos, 8 and a half. Calloway, do we have his hidden yet? Well, they're both only star anyway, so I guess it's nothing too crazy. Dang, I was so hyped to get them. JC Horn back to back years with four interceptions. Dante Jackson, three. Rookie safety with two, I believe it was. And in the first round, I think it was the Cowboys, which is always a tough matchup, especially on Madden, because their team, their playbooks, their everything is really good, but it don't matter. Because we win anyway, 24-17. Now we got the Cardinals, who look really good in real life right now. I believe they're 3-0, but 
They're 0-1 to me in the playoffs, baby. 34 to 10. And now we have our divisional rival. The divisional winner here. Hard hitting brawl. Y'all already know what that means, man. Brady. Brady. <laughs> it's time to retire. Your time is up, Brady. You're like 53 years old now. And you don't you simply just don't got any more. Move over. Because it's Sam Darnold's time, baby. Third, okay, we actually made it. Jesus. Okay, well, we looked tra trash. We didn't look great in the regular season. We just made the Super Bowl. I'll take that all day long, bro. Yearly awards, Christian McCaffrey. No doubt about that. JC Horn, number two again for best TV. And yeah, we had... We had literally nothing else besides Christian McCaffrey, but I don't think I need to show you guys that. You guys saw his stats. You know that man won just about everything there was to win. Development trade upgrades. It's just Darnold on offense, and he's not going to go up, is he? He, does, he leads us to the Super Bowl, and he doesn't go up. That's so dumb. That is so dumb. Defensively, give me something. Sha Sha don't tell me Shaq Thompson only again. It's Shaq Thompson only again. This guy's starting to make me mad. <laughs> I really want to just upgrade Darnold. I'm not going to lie. Like, he just led me to the Super Bowl. That's crazy. That's crazy. He should not still be, or still not be normal. Um, I don't know. The Browns, we're only in year two. Nothing's changed much here. I mean, Baker's up to a 93. That's pretty cool to see. And then, you know, stand out. John Johnson's a 91. Jadavion Clowney stayed there as well. Greg Newsome actually developed really nicely. Same with JOK. He's also a superstar. That's cool. Who is this? Justin Smith. Okay, he's only normal. I don't care. You know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm getting him up to star. A lot of you guys always say, you know, if some people go crazy, just upgrade them. I usually don't. I usually like just leaving it up to whatever Madden decides, even though sometimes it's very dumb. I just think it's a little bit more fun. But I want to see Darnold develop here. He's obviously been great for us so far in both seasons. He's led us to the Super Bowl. I think a star development is the least we can do. Um, we're not getting anything else besides Shaq Thompson anyway. So it's not like, you know, we're getting crazy upgrades there. So I hope you guys understand. I know you guys probably don't care anyway. But Super Bowl, year two. Love to see it. We're playing the Browns. They're an 88. They're they got a crazy squad as we just saw. We're an 85 though. This should be a good, this should be a really good game. And we are in 10 minute quarters, of course, as we start off with the first seven points on the board. And that's going to be end. Of the first quarter 7-0 is all we get there second quarter on the way browns go ahead and tied up seven all we get a touchdown right quick to answer them and they do the exact same 14 all at the end of the first half there who had first half tie let me know right now 21 14 now they go up and we are driving down the field a little bit um from what i could see let's go ahead and hop in we're on their 27 i believe it is and let's see newly star development Sam Darnold go to work against his Browns defense. Come on, Darnold. When I need you the most. Huh. Oh, and he's gone. Oh, that boy gone. That big boy is gone. I. Oh, no, he's not gone. He's a big boy. What am I saying? <laughs> nah, bro. I was literally watching. I was literally watching Miles Garrett that entire time. You didn't see. Rewind that and just watch Miles Garrett. He killed. He absolutely killed Taylor Moten, bro. That was legit the first play I saw. We were almost in their red zone, and Darnold fumbles it, and now Nick Chubb is um, kind of hard to stop, but we do get him down. Nick Chubb's actually not having a great game either. I think he only had like 44 yards on 14 attempts, so that's why they're giving it to Kareem Hunt now, and we get him down. It's Zach Halloway, the rookie. Kareem Hunt's not doing too much as well, which forces a third in goal. If we can get a stop here, that would be big time. Would be big for us because that was a tough sequence of events here. Nick Chubb is going down. Stefanski. Stefanski, what is you doing here? Are you kicking? He is kicking. Okay. Okay. I like our chances still, you know. One and ten. Darno, do not. I'm watching Miles get. This might be the worst performance I've ever seen from hopping in, bro. What the heck? Two plays, a fumble that was almost a touchdown, and now a pick six. Are you kidding me? Uh, I mean, that was, this is literally the worst. We're running a screen pass to McCaffrey. He actually is. Woo, that boy is shifty with it. I think he gets me the first down. This is going to be a very tough game to come back from. It's been um, a rough, rush path. What am I saying? A rough patch of plays here, but... I mean, just, just give me a touchdown, please, and I'll be happy. Please, Darnold, Darnold, Darnold? Oh, what is that? Oh, my God, it was almost another pick, bro. Yeah, this one's this one's not looking too hot. Darnold, Darnold, oh, my God. That boy's slinging it. Oh! There's hope. There's hope. There's hope. There's hope. 
Who even is that? I honestly... Smith? Smith? Who's Smith? I actually... I, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to be real with you. He was number 12, which was DJ Moore's prior number. That's all I could think of. Darnold... The 12 again, this guy's a beast. That's Steve Smith. We we have Steve Smith back? I don't know. Second and six. Darnold, I need a tutty quick. We're handing it off. I don't know why. I don't know why we're running the ball. We're down, what, 17 points. Five minutes to go here. Pass the ball. We The clock is not on our side, all right? I trust our defense to get maybe a little cheeky turnover or something like that. Third and five. Darnold, so, darn. Fourth and five. This is Miles Garrett just killed him again. And Mc, who is that? McCaffrey, you suck, bro. Are you kidding me? Okay, yeah, this game's a wrap. Offensively, we just could not get things going. Simple as that. Browns beat us 31 14. I hopped in. It was 21 to 14. And then Sam Darnold happened. He just, he, he was not ready for the bright lights. 18 for 31. 190 yards. I mean, he had more yards than Baker. Baker really didn't do too much. They had the same amount of touchdowns as well. But Darnold did have that costly, costly interception. Nick Chubb was honestly not too great. McCaffrey really good. Tuba really good. Cream Hunt, okay. He didn't get too many carries, though. Austin Hooper led the way with receptions. Odell, number two. This was a weird game. Tommy Trumbull, 56 yards. DJ Moore, hello. Who is this? Shy Smith. Shy Smith. Draft pick in 2021. Okay, I do. That name does sound familiar. DJ Moore. DJ Moore had one yard. Miles Garrett, three tackle for losses. Jadavion Clowney, three sacks. We must improve our O-line. I wanted to last season. Wasn't really much in free agency. Wasn't anything in the draft as well. Not like you guys saw it, but... Super Bowl MVP was Jadavion Clowney as well. I cannot believe... I cannot believe what I just witnessed, but we'll be back. We back. Trust me, this team's only going to get better. The online definitely going to improve as well. We will be back. Sam Darnold is star development now. No, no, no for none of y'all. Also, remember, maybe they didn't tag Taylor Moen. We just got him now. Quinny's here. I'm not going to sign him, though, even though we do need O-line help. Zadarius so Smith is here. Don't really need him. Brady's here. That's, that's really good for our sake. He's out of our division now. I'm pretty much just looking for offensive linemen here. Greg, I mean, we traded Greg Little. We don't want him back. Quinn Nelson, no. There's nothing here at all. JC, maybe I'll get him JC Treader. Why not? I got me everybody I wanted. Perfect, JC Treader. Young here. Jack Conklin. Probably going to play him at left tackle. And then my boy Alexander, just to be our fourth string cornerback there because AJ Bouye was not happy about being our fourth string. He just skedaddled. Like, he's literally not here anymore. <laughs> but perfect. Beefing up the O line massively there, as well as getting some better depth on the defensive side of the ball. We're picked number 31, of course, but I'm probably going to be looking for middle linebacker and probably more offensive linemen as well. And let's go ahead and check out middle linebackers. If there are anybody, there is. There are really good ones later on as well. Peter Harris, a late first, crazy combine. Alexander Laws, late second as well. We don't have our third, right? We don't have our second. Oh, oh my God. Okay, we have another one of these. In this guy can play middle linebacker, probably. Or I mean, this guy's insane. I'm definitely drafting him. Okay, so we're at 31 here. Donnie Meadows here. Looks like a pretty good offensive lineman. Not the craziest of combines, which kind of wants me... Kind of makes me want to trade down and maybe get Ben Holman later on. But, I mean, he's a mid-second, so he's going to be lower overall, obviously. I definitely want to get this guy probably with my next pick at number three. I think I'm just going to go Donnie Meadows right now. I didn't really expect him to fall to me, but let's do it. Let's take our offensive lineman, and he is hidden. It's a good thing I took him then. 73 overall, 21 in the class as well. Sometimes their combine ain't sexy. Sometimes it's a late first, but they will be that hidden development, which is all that matters. End of the day, Donnie Meadows, I'm probably going to start him immediately, honestly. Chargers. Okay, and we're trading up pick number 25, and I fly in here to pick number 73 because I'm trading away I fly in because obviously we just drafted that center, and... That other center is actually still here as well. So I am going to be grabbing him, Ben Holman, and then I'll get Raheem Mack at number nine. He should still be there. He's an early fourth round projection. Let's get Holman. And he's only normal, which is unfortunate. I was just kind of banking on that hidden dev there. But you know, look, it's a good thing we went with that other guy first because he is that hidden. But now let's go to pick number nine and let's get that insane. Oh, my God. I low-key thought he just went. That insane linebacker who is an early First round talent, Raheem Mack out of LSU, the next Devin White. That's what he's going to be for me, baby. Get on the team. Can he be? He's 
not. And he's only 75. Number 9 of the class as well. Kind of a low rated draft class then, not gonna lie with you. I mean, he's good. He's good. He's probably gonna play a role on our team as well. Maybe I move, um, what's his name? Asan Reddick to the defensive line now. But, nah, I wanted that hidden. Oh, wait, I forgot I had this guy as well, who was a first round talent. He's only normal dev. Look, not a terrible draft. We got. We got a really good offensive lineman now, so yeah. <laughs> 69 rated right tackle. Went number one, by the way. I mean, he's hidden. Is he is he superstar X Factor? I don't know. Texans, weird pick. Weird pick. 69 overall tackle. Who's only star. That is... Bleh. Hold up. Hold up. What is going on at the top of this class? Number two was a 70 rated right guard. Number three was another... 69 rated right tackle. What is going on here? This guy's only star too. Hello? Evan Backus? They're all star. Jeez, what a what a crazy draft. Mitch Sheldon went number four to the Lions. An 81 overall strong safety. And there was a 78 rated strong safety as well. But after that, class kind of falls off. Not a good looking class at all. There's actually a pretty decent looking tight end here. But he's only normal. Year three, we're in 83 overall now. 80 offense, 88 defense. So that's pretty fire. But we're off a heartbreaking loss in the Super Bowl, of course, to the Browns. But I think we improved the team a lot. JC Treader, Jack Conklin. I stole the two of the Browns offensive linemen. We also drafted my boy Metals. They got me Magic Johnson. Matt Johnson here. They got me a hidden guy. I'm going to play him at fullback because why not defensively <laughs> um i didn't change anything here we're just gonna roll with how it is it was insane year number one not as insane last year but we made the super bowl so i'm not gonna change it i'm not gonna change it you know what i mean um let's put jc horn back in the slot as well maybe he can go three seasons in a row with four interceptions everything else there still remains the same as well but brady of course we saw him in free agency he's out of our division now which is very nice and i think I think this is the season we could end up on top. Or bottom. Or bottom. Or bottom. We're two and five. Huh? We're two and five. There was like I only got one hit. I don't even care. Hello. Why? Did I trade any picks? I didn't. We have all our picks still. Shaq Thompson's X Factor 87. Honestly, maybe I do resign him. Jeremy Chin, definitely. Derek Brown, definitely. Probably not Robbie Anderson. CJ Henderson. You turn gross mottos. Yeah, we're going to give out some money. But to be fair, we got a lot of it. Shaq Thompson wants so much money, dude. But he's X Factor. He's X Factor, all right? So he's only going to get better, and it's going to take longer for him to regress as well. Jeremy Chin, whatever you like. Never mind. Never mind. I'll bump it up for you, Derek Brown. Maybe you join us back. I'm going to give it five years as well. Derek, thank you. DJ Henderson has developed kind of... Okay, well, he wants more money. Maybe if you developed a little bit better, I'd give you more money, but... That's tough. Your Gross Matos actually has had, he had a really good year last year. Let's make the years more. Cheapens up the deal as well. He's excited to stay with the team. Henderson will get back. Jeremy Chen will get back as well. I'm not really too worried about them. I'm worried about our team though. Why are we two and five? I don't know. I thought we literally just made the Super Bowl and we got better. Did we not? I don't know. I'll see you guys if we make the playoffs. <laughs> and the answer to that is no. We go eight and nine. Saints. 14 and 3. If I see Ian Book at the top of the stats here, I'm going to be very, very mad. Oh, that's what? Mm-mm. 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 Darnold, cool. Darnold was dog, by the way. In what world? Where is Trubisky? He's, on, he's, in, our, he's in our division. Right, where, where's Brady? On the Raiders? What is going on here? Is Tampa playbook like that? It's making Trubisky look like a demigod. I never thought I'd see that in my life. He literally he literally was better than Mahomes. I mean, he wasn't just yards. He had more yards, but what the heck is going on here? And how is this guy doing? The guy that's in our division, he's, he's developing cool. Darnold, Darnold, what are you doing? Who's even the saint? It's Ian Book, man. Go check out the rest of the stats. Chubb, Henry, Zeke. No, no McCaffrey this year. Okay. Nikhil Harry. Nikhil Harry. What is going on in this simulation? Vaughn Miller threw it back in years. Ooh, Hassan Reddick, 18 interceptions. Aru Warrier and Lattimore with eight there. Roquan Smith tackles made. We saw Darnold. Darnold was not good this year, and I'm not too sure why. Offensively, we're 10th. That's the worst we've been. And then defensively, 11th. That's an upgrade from last season, but a downgrade from year one. You know what I mean? Darnold. Darnold, Darnold, Darnold. 4,300 yards, 26 tutties, 15 interceptions. You are not on the Jets anymore, Sam. What are you doing? McCaffrey was, I mean, he wasn't on the thing, but he was still <laughs> unbelievable. You guys know what McCaffrey's doing always here as well. Maybe I changed the playbook. 
Maybe I go Tampa. I've never tried Tampa offensive. We need to get DJ Moore involved, Terrace Marshall involved, but now we're gonna we're probably gonna lose Robbie. So that's tough, man. I don't know. I don't know. We really just missed the playoffs after making the Super Bowl. That is weird. Son Reddick, shout out to you though. He should go up to superstar. 18 sacks for him. Burns with 11 and a half. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Derek Brown had 28 tackle for losses. Get him up to superstar as well. Can I finally get some Debbies this year? I swear we've gotten none, bro. Dante Jackson, three picks, two for Young and two for Chin. Oh, we, we start out the MVP though, so that's cool. And he was oh boy. Cleo Mack here. We're probably going to have literally nothing here because our team, I mean, of course, for McCaffrey. Actually, anybody here? No, sir. Yeah, not not sure what happened that year. Nothing is going to get upgraded on offense because we, oh, hold up, hold up. My boy Matt Johnson's a superstar. Meadows only a star. I mean, what do I even do with this guy? I don't know. I don't want to play him over Tommy Tremble because Tremble is developing nicely. You know, defensively, these are where we should get some big upgrades. Okay. Okay. Derek Brown does go up. Amazing. Dante Jackson up to superstar. I mean, I would prefer these other two to get it, but it's, it's still amazing. It's still amazing. Jeremy Chen as well. Love that. Riddick didn't go up though. Riddick really didn't go up. That's, that's just weird. Kansas City. Are your Super Bowl champions beating out the Cowboys? No surprise there. But what is surprising is the downfall of this team. What just happened here? In year number three, I really don't understand. But I think, um, do I change the playlist? I don't even know. I don't know. Darnold just like didn't come to play this year. And I should have offered Chin so much more money at the beginning there. So Because now he went up, obviously. And we're going to have to pay him more. But it's worth it because he's up to superstar now. So you love to see that. Henderson is not superstar. But he does want, does want a lot of money. 5 mil, 3.7. CJ? Okay, he's happy to stay back as well. We're getting the core back, which is good to see. Something I do like. We're probably gonna lose Robbie though. He's actually an 82 now as well. It's not even it's not even a big deal. We're losing him honestly. And I think we go wild in this free agency. 44 mil to spend as well. There should be some bangers here. Tron Armstead. I mean, I have my tackles are pretty good now, you know. Maybe we get no, I don't even need Cameron Joy. What do I even need, bro? I need receiver now. Of course, we did just lose Robbie, so that makes sense. Defensively, I think we're beautiful over here. Maybe middle linebacker could upgrade there, and another cornerback too would not hurt at all. Bang. Four for four. Okay, we got Deontay Thompson, just did a little bit of more depth. Same with Delpy here. William Jackson, but we get Cooper Cup. He is 31 now. I offered him just a two-year deal. He's still a superstar development as well. Obviously, Cooper Cup going crazy in real life as we speak. But, you know, we're, we're kind of three years into this rebuild now. So, he's a little bit older. Maybe a little bit of regression there. But he definitely should help out this offense. Especially if I do decide to change playbooks. We're pick number 14. We actually have a high draft pick because we sucked. Injustice, the Oregon free safety. Don't really need safety. I think our safety group is actually pretty solid. But it might just be best player available here in this draft. Let's see what we got. Oh my God. Gerard, Ger, Ger, Gerard, what in the world? Gerald Campbell. Insane. Mid third round, early first round talent. That is unbelievable. Okay, we're at pick 14. Tell you what, if that free safety is still there, might do, he actually is. Oh, I was not expecting him to still be here. He actually is the Heisman winner, right? Jeremy Justice, I mean, look at him. I might just move Jeremy Chin to middle linebacker because he does play in that, he, does, he can play in that linebacker role in real life, a little bit of a hybrid. That's what we need him to do for us as well. And I think Jeremy Justice is the play here, bro. He looks just way too good. I'm taking him. I'm taking him. Why not? He's the Heisman winner. 77 overall out of the Ducks as well as Skull Dogs, baby. Number six in the class. And hidden development star or better development i'm hoping for the best he's the heisman winner hoping for an x factor hoping for a superstar development but he will be my free safety now round number two now this safety is actually still here too don't need him though we're obviously gonna go with gerald campbell here who looks just as insane as justice honestly we're just getting more depth at the defensive line. There's actually not much else besides like our starters right now. So Gerald Campbell should definitely be able to help out. He is only normal, which is unfortunate, but 78 overall is amazing, especially for what our team wants to do. And that is win right now. We don't need any projects. We need solidified talent. And Campbell certainly is that. Last two guys on the board here, Jeremiah, Jeremiah Scar Scarborough. Ran the fastest 40 for a wide receiver, 4-3-5. He's projected late, for, late fifth, which is crazy. He's 74, but... Probably won't see too much game time, let's be real. Max Trout, brother of Mike Trout. 
hidden development. I honestly thought I was about to skip it, but maybe he plays a role for us because of that hidden development. It, it's quite simple. If I see that blue question mark, I start you. I, or I, I like you more, I, I guess I should say. <laughs> I like what we did this draft. I'm not gonna lie, I really do. We got the Heisman winner. He somehow fell to me, which is probably gonna have um, Jeremy Chen moving around a little bit as well. Running backs, a lot of running backs here at the top of the um, top of the class. Campbell, 78 overall there, love to see it. Joey Vernon, they get their Jack Conklin replacement. A ton of running backs in this class, my goodness. But there's nothing else I really was looking for. I think I got everybody I need. Hopefully next season we can bounce back. You're number four, come on. So we are in your number four now, 86 overall, 89 defense, 84 offense. And I'm not, I'm not gonna change the playbooks. I'm gonna trust it for one last season. See how it does. We got Coop Cup here now. You know, McCaffrey's still doing his thing. Darnold's, I wish he got star development quicker. I wish he got a year one. That would have been nice. Let's move this guy to middle linebacker. And he's still an 86 there, which is great. And Justice can start a free safety as well. And now this defense looks, this defense looks amazing, honestly. It's so beautiful. Not a normal development insight. Scarborough in the slot. I'm gonna make it DJ Moore. Perfect. And I'm also gonna make JC Horn back at slot cornerback. Jeremy Chin now at sub linebacker as well. Love to see. Now the depth here looks really good. Maybe that's what we were lacking last year. You know, maybe a lot of our players were getting they were getting a little bit winded out there, but now I got depth all over the place. Every single position, you name it, we got depth. We got numbers, we got a squad here. Please make the playoffs. Or is Trubisky gonna kill us again? We're three and three. I mean, the, the, the Steelers are seven and oh, what in the world? Buccaneers still on top. That is so annoying, actually. Before we do contracts here, we got Tremble, JC Horn. There's actually nothing much here as well. I need to go crazy this free agency, but there really wasn't anything too crazy last year. I need. I want to go check out my boy, Justice. We also got that center, but he's not starting because Christmas is just a higher rating. Justice. How'd he fall to me, bro? How'd he fall to me, bro? Oh, man. X-Factor. Oh, God. Sorry. X-Factor free safety. That's insane. You got to pick in week six as well. Okay. Literally, look at this defense. There's no, there's no way. There's no way we don't make the playoffs again, right? Tremble. Double T. Get back on the team. Thank you very much. William Jackson can walk. JC Horn. Who really hasn't developed too nicely. Like, he's only an 83. I wish he could have gone up to superstar. He actually had... A few really good seasons for us as well. Of course, I'm going to sign him back because JC Horn is one of our own. Chuba could probably walk. Same with Terrace. Honestly, I don't really care about anybody else there. I care a little bit about John Wolford. Not going to lie with you, but I care about our team competing. Get into the Super Bowl once again because we were so good in year two. I haven't, made, I haven't done anything but improve the team. So I don't really understand why. We're in a little bit of a slump here. I don't know what's going on with Darnold. He thinks he's on the Jets again. But you're number four. We're 11 and six and made the playoffs. Thank you very much. Top of the division for the first time as well. And stats are looking like Herbert Burrow Mahomes. That's the first half. Stats, Mahomes, Herbert Burrow. It's the same thing. Mahomes absolutely went crazy to be expected. Zeke McCaffrey in there once again. Najee in there. That's pretty cool. Jaden Stevens, who? Don't know. Elijah Moore, D Hop in there. TJ Watt, 23 sacks. Demarcus Lawrence, 22. Crazy. Nick Needham leads the way for interceptions. And then Jerome Baker for tackles made. Offensively, went down again. 14th this time. Darnell, what's going on? Defensively, we were in reverse. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Why why was it first in year one? How? I, f I feel like year one was our worst looking defense. Honestly, Darnold, 4,100 yards, 34 touchdowns, 9 picks. I mean, honestly, that's a really good season. Let's be real. That is really good. McCaffrey was McCaffrey. You guys can see it. The boy is crazy. I don't I don't even got to say it anymore. McCaffrey, of course, again, Coop Cub, 850 yards, 6 touchdowns. Love that. DJ Moore in the slot really didn't do anything too hot. Tommy Tremble was cool. Terrence Marshall was doing cardio. Jeremy Chin at middle linebacker leads the way for tackles made. Derek Brown, 19 tackle for losses this year. 11 for Riddick and Brian Burns. Sack numbers look wild. Yep. Oh my. 17 and a half for Burns. 12 and a half for Riddick. 10 and a half for Derek Brown. Love to see that. And then interceptions. Jeremy Chin with four. CJ Henderson with four. Justice in his rookie year with three. Dante Jackson gets himself three as well. Love it, bro. Love it. Ton of picks for our team. Ton of sacks as well. But yards given up, we were still 18th, which is quite weird. Rams. 
Rams first round here in the wild card. There ain't nine though. Stafford's that Stafford's only he's probably like 75 overall nowadays. You know what I mean? 30 24. We're playing another team in that division this time. The 10 and 7 San Francisco 49ers. Trey Lance probably like a 90 overall now, which is kind of scary. And he actually ends up beating us. Okay, that's pain. That's actually pain. We can't make it back. How do we make it in year two, bro? I really don't know. It's Ravens, Cowboys in the Super Bowl. But is this McCaffrey again? No, this time, this time it's actually Zeke. Okay. H H Henderson 5. That's literally like the... Oh, Paulson ID was a picture now. I don't need a picture before. Um, That's all we had there. Honestly, another quite disappointing season. Not going to lie with you, Devies. Maybe I should change the playbook because it, it's it's clearly not working. Darnold's an 87 now with morale, that is. But we haven't gotten one development trade upgrade on offense besides me actually manually putting Darnold up to a star. Defensively, Derek Brown up to X Factor. Love to see that. Do we get anybody else? I don't think we do. I don't, how has Burns not gotten up yet? That's whack. Zeke and the Cowboys just went, went wild this year. They top it off with the Super Bowl. 24-21 beating the Baltimore Ravens. And nothing to bring back for our team. So we got about almost 30 mil here to spend to go all out in free agency. And let's go ahead and do that. Who is here that I like? I like a lot of these names. I ain't gonna lie with you. Yo, that, that Trout dude I drafted is Superstar Dev. Okay, that's pretty fire. I am gonna still try to sign Brandon Scherf here. I'm still trying to figure out what else I want to do with my money. But there, there's not too much I can do, honestly. Hey, okay, we actually got everybody though. Rashad Fenton's like an 81. Scherf's here now, and then Zach Moss to be our power back. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I think the team is good enough to win a Super Bowl. Honestly, if we made it in year number two, this team should definitely be better. Everybody's like pretty much like in their peak at their peak now in their prime. And come draft time, let's just pick best player available, which is that's not even the Heisman winner. Mm, this draft kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, these are the best players here. I'm just gonna take them because why not? David Brandt is actually been in development. You love to see it. 76, number eight in the class. Maybe I start him. I'm probably gonna start him. I know that other guy's superstar, but he's only like a 72. So hopefully Brandt that and more. Year five, likely the last season. We're an 86 overall defensively, 91, which is amazing. 83 offense, I will be starting Brandt here. We added in Brandon Scherf. It's offense, it doesn't get much better than this. Honestly, Coop Cup, 95, DJ Moore, McCaffrey still a 99. Darnold, I need you here in this last season, my guy. Defensively, y'all already know. This defense is perfect. Literally perfect. I don't even know who this guy is, but shout out to him. Justice, of course, last year's X Factor Heisman winner. Scarborough in the slot this time. JC Horn, and then I'm going to change playbooks right now. And I'm going to do Cleveland Browns offensive, not Indiana. <laughs> I'm going to do Kansas City defensive playbook because that one's pretty cracked as well. Let's try out the Browns. See what it can do. Nick Chubb's usually always going crazy. They, of course, beat us in year two. So hopefully we can get some of that luck. I'm going straight to the playoffs. And if we don't make it here, you're probably not going to see this. Okay. We just went 15 and two. I need to try out the, I need to do that comp. Look at, <laughs> oh my God. 15 and 2 we just went we lost to the Patriots we lost to the Seahawks in week 18 but of course we were resting every single starter because we have this this bye week locked up oh my god Mahomes leaves away Jared Goff in there Teddy B Teddy two gloves himself McCaffrey even oh my god McCaffrey had the best season in the Browns playbook I've never tried Browns playbook but maybe it is it bro Jaden Stevens McLaurin and Metcalf are names I've honestly never really seen up here so really cool to see them Chase Young 24 sacks that's awesome Isaiah Simmons six interceptions Jayon Brown leads away wow 15 okay actually offensively it was just it was just McCaffrey because Darnold didn't do much defensively number one though Love to see that. Darnold was solid. The least amount of yardage he's had for us so far, only with 3,717. 36 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Honestly, amazing. That is really good. We just let this man cook. And it definitely helped getting Zach Moss as well as he got, grabbed himself 10 touchdowns, probably on the goal line as that power back, even though McCaffrey definitely can hold his own. But 2,300 yards, I'm pretty sure that's the record 
for rushing yards. That's insane. DJ Moore finally getting involved with the playbook change here. 1,200 um, yards for him. Nine tutties. Scarborough, really good as well. The other season, we drafted him. Tremble, Cup, and McCaffrey with about 400 yards there. Shaq Thompson leads the way for tackles made. 21 sacks for Burns. 14 and a half for Callaway. He's starting to come alive here. Derek Brown, 12 and a half. And Reddick is Reddick has fallen off a cliff. A half a sack. I think he's like 82, 81 overall now. Oh my god, Callaway. Callaway. Three years late, my guy. No. Why are you going off now, bro? Dante Jackson, four interceptions. Jeremy Chin, three. CJ Henderson, three. Two for a lot of people. I am a bit shocked. We just went 15 and two, but I absolutely love it. Finally, I should have changed it earlier. I should have changed it last year. I wanted to, but for some reason, I just didn't do it. Playoff rivals, I don't care. I don't care. We're steamrolling. We're hot. We're the best team in football. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 31-14. Get me in the Super Bowl. Get out of my way, Packers. We're back. We're back. I was honestly on the verge of restarting this reboot if I didn't make it this year. I'm not going to lie with you, but we're actually here. We're playing the Colts, who are only 9-8. They have Devontae Adams. MVP CMC, y'all already know, huh? Oh, y'all tripping, bro. Golf went to the football team and is just is just lighting it up there, I guess. Him and um him Mc, him and McLaurin have a beautiful connection. D hops on the Packers. Hello. Anything else crazy here? Callaway is on the Niners. I mean, cool. I don't know why I'm mentioning that. Sheriff is already medals. Medals makes it. He's top five. I'm upgrading him to superstar as well. He deserves that 100%. Finishing top five. Okay, what is his football team? Chandler Jones as well. And then we saw Chase Young, of course, lead the way for sacks. But we actually made it in year five. I'm hype. I'm hype. And we're only playing the nine and eight Colts here. A little bit of an underdog story they got going on. But our team is just, our team is too good. Darnold doesn't go up, which is unfortunate. Nobody goes up here. Nobody went up on offense once this video without me doing it myself. That's wild for how good we've been. Crazy. Defensively, can I get anything? Rit Callaway. Callaway goes up. Hold up. Hold up, bro. Hassan Reddick. Development trait increase. Superstar development. Um. Huh? Huh? Because look at. Look at this. <laughs> what? He got me 11 sacks year one, 10 and a half sacks, 18 sacks, 12 and a half sacks, never went up. This season, he puts up a whopping 29 tackles, four tackle for losses, half. Oh, he got, he got a pick. He got a pick. That's all you need is a pick and you get an upgrade. I don't know how that works. That makes, how does he get 18 sacks? Doesn't go up, but gets a half of one. He does. That's weird. <laughs> My boy Meadows, extremely early draft pick we had in him and he actually developed nicely. Finish as, as the top five in O-line. So he grants himself a superstar development, of course. Grant, only star as well. Yeah, you asking me? I'm intrigued too. I am. Who is on this Colts team? Defoe, of course, doing his thing, 99. Jonathan Taylor, 99. Devonta Adams, still a 99. Darius Leonard, one of the best linebackers in the league, of course. Braden Smith is a 94. Who? Nathan Thurston. Ooh. They got themselves a killer at QB. x Fact 23. This is only his second year. Oh my god. X Factor 92 overall. Has trust as well. I mean, what a guy, bro. Could he pays up to an 89? They got themselves David and Joku. This is a cool team. This is a pretty cool team. I'm I'm really te Terrace Marshall Revenge Game. Oh, it's on. It's on. Maybe the Browns playbook is the best for um running back then. Because those stats CMC just put up were ridiculous. Ridiculous, bro. First quarter in the Super Bowl, we do get the first points there, and the only points of 1Q. 3-0 field goal for us there, as we get a touchdown as well to go up 10. Oh, it's a Rodrigo Blankenship revenge game as well. 17-3, <laughs> though. We go up. We're looking good. Can they actually end off with the Super Bowl? That would be big. They get themselves another... Another field goal. We look good. We look good. It's 24 to 6. I trust my team, baby. Ooh, they're actually in the red zone though. It's a third and goal though. This is a big, this is a big defensive stance. Come on, boys. Shut down this Thurston dude. He's got all the time in the world though. And we get a great pass breakup. Okay. And they're opting to kick this. Interesting. They're down, what is that? 18 points. Start of the fourth quarter. They don't have Blankenship anymore. He's ours. Second and two with a 15-point lead. Christian McCaffrey's gonna get stuffed. He's got himself 73 yards, 15 rushes, but not great there, leading us to a third and three. We're in shotgun here. 
Darnold, do your thing. We gotta just we gotta just kill the clock here in the fourth quarter. Let's ensure we get this good protection. And it's none other than Cooper Cup gets me the first down. He's a god on third downs. Y'all know that. Second and twelve. Darnold's passing here. He's got time in the pocket. Slings it. Cooper Cup cannot come down with it, leading us to a third and twelve. Massive, massive possession here because if we're we're giving them some momentum. If we if they get a stop here off the field goal. They could make this a relatively close game. Not going to lie. Darnold, show me something. Show me you got ice in your veins. That's, that's not what I'm looking for. Amazing punt, though. Amazing punt. Gets them on their own four, but Jonathan Taylor's at 99, and he gets out of it like it's nothing. Nathan Thurston once again slings it, and it's an amazing catch and an amazing some amazing footwork by number 88. Oh, my God. It's Terrace. It's Terrace. Terrace Marshall Jr. is looking for his revenge and what a, what a play he just made getting them a first and 10 now Thurston is gonna get sacked though it's none other than Brian Burns himself he has two and a half sacks today too absolutely cooking that what is it 94 overall Braden Smith it was it don't matter and out he was third and 18 here defensively we just look so good but Thurston has got some time to think about this one and we get a stop it's Dante Jackson on Terrace Interesting. They go for this, huh? I guess they kind of have to. They should have went for that other one, though, instead of the field goal, because now it's fourth and 18. I mean, first, oh my god. Terrace, no, he, he's not. <laughs> Terrace ain't like that. Terrace ain't like that. I'm sorry. We saw that for four years. We know he ain't like that. It's our time again. We look good. 24 to 9. It's a pretty comfortable position we're in right now. We can pretty much start pounding the rock here. That's, that's not what we're going to do. But Darnold, I trust in. Darnold, no. Tell you what, I forgot about the field advantage as well. We're already on their 30. That's insane. McCaffrey here has a little bit of room, but doesn't get really too much, leading us to a third and seven. But we are in field goal range already. I have Rodrigo Blankenship, so it's a guaranteed three points if you ask me. Third and seven, though. I'd, I'd prefer seven. I'd prefer seven. Let's go. First down, baby. I don't know who that is. 82. Is that Tremble? It is Tommy Tremble. Let's go. Second and eight now. Darnold is passing this one. Has a bit of time. Not really. I jinxed it. I jinxed it. I'm sorry. Defoe gets himself through. Are they rocking like a retro jersey? Those helmets look pretty fire. I'm not going to lie. Third and 18 now, though. <laughs> That's not good. Um, We're probably just going to run this, honestly, and take the three points. Never mind. Darnold, show me something special, please. Show me something. No, he's just... What is that? Nathan Thurston is playing from behind now, and Jonathan Taylor is going nowhere. Jeremy Chin's there. Dante Jackson's there. We got it on locks, man. We got it on locks. Our defense is so good. It's so good. We pretty much still have, like, the, the Panthers, like, regular core as well, and added just some more pieces to it. Thurston. <laughs> Dante Jackson interception that's game call it a wrap and now it's my time to shine because we got a comfortable lead so I'm hopping in now y'all already know who can I find here tremble maybe tremble he's got to be out of bounds right he's, he's, he's got to be out of bounds right that's crazy that's crazy uh, I, I, I don't know how they got the ball back you know they just they just did I'm not gonna say anything but um we won a Super Bowl in the last season Sam Darnold did it he didn't develop too crazily, but he ends up getting us the Lombardi as well. And the Panthers have done it eventually. It took a while. It took a little longer than expected, but we ended off with a bang. Darnold was all right. 20 for 29, 230 yards, two touchdowns. I don't, I don't know where that interception came from. Nathan Thurston, though, was trash. 19 for 39, only 150 yards, no tutties, and had that interception too. Of course, Jonathan Taylor, what? To Dante Jackson. Taylor was good though, McCaffrey better. Zach Moss had a touchdown, so shout out to him. And Joku was good, DJ Moore was phenomenal. Two touchdowns for him, 74 yards. Terrace Marshall Jr. can suck it. Tommy Tremble, Cooper Cup were decent as well. Holy, three tackle for losses for Quiddy Pay, DeForest Buckner, Derek Brown at three though, Kerry Willis two, Marvin Jefferson, they had a ton ton of pressure on us my goodness sacks brian burns we saw two and a half for him you turn gross motto's got one they didn't really have a sack though they had two they had one sack overall dante jackson carrie willis with an interception there my goodness 27 to 9 and your super bowl mvp is dj moore of course two touchdowns there love it love it we ended off great man let's go that's gonna be it for the video though 
we're five years in now we actually did end up getting a super bowl which is great and before i round up the team i just want to say appreciate all you guys if you guys have made it here to this point in the video make sure to like the video that would help me out a ton as well but let's check out this team as a whole that was actually really fire i really like what i did with the squad here in carolina start off with sam darnold who's up to an 89 now with morale to at 29 years old still has a ton of time left look at those stats Sam Darnold's like that. Rough, rough start to his career with the Jets, of course. Adam Gase, he had no weapons, no O-line, no nothing. Goes to Carolina, bang. Now becomes one of the one of the top NQBs, I'd say. You know, led us to two Super Bowls in this span. We were consistently in the playoffs as well. He's putting up around 30 touchdowns, 4,000 yards every season. I mean, Darnold was great for us, man. He really was. McCaffrey was just... He was McCaffrey. I need to go check out his stats because he was ridiculous. I mean, he probably broke like nine records this video. Like, what is this? <laughs> he had 1,500 yards every single season. And then in this last year, he had 2,309. Huh? Had 22 touchdowns matching his jersey numbers in two different seasons. But, but it wasn't just that. It was the receiving wise as well. Didn't do too much this year. But these past four years, unbelievable statistics CMC put up and... He's, he's just a simulation god, bro. DJ Moore wasn't anything too crazy, as a lot of the um, the offensive game plan revolved around McCaffrey, but he was still solid, developed up to a 97. Cooper Cup we brought in, shout out to him. Scarborough was cool as well. Tommy Tremble, bro. Tommy Tremble's at 93 with morale there. He actually developed into a beast, one of the best tight ends in the league, and he's still just 26 years old, so plenty of time for him to only get even better. Head shape still throwing me off, not gonna lie, looking... <laughs> <laughs> just looks so weird, man. Shout out to my boy Matt Johnson, superstar dev. O line, Conklin, we brought in. Moten, who was here the entire video. We drafted Brant, we drafted Metals, we drafted Homan, Trout, Sure, if we got in this last season. He really got us over that hump as well. So big shouts out to him and this defense, bro. Defense is just beautiful. Brian Burns somehow never went up to X Factor. Don't really know how, don't really know why, but he was still amazing for us with his 99 finesse moves as well. You absolutely love to see that. He was putting up crazy stats, dude. 21 sacks this year, had double digit sacks every single season for us as well. Insane. Brian Burns was insane. Yachar Gross Matos up to an 85. We moved him inside and he was a beast alongside Derek Brown, of course, out of the same draft class. I think he had like one year where he had like 28 tackle for losses. That is the most I've ever seen. That is ridiculous. Zach Halloway, we got year one. You guys, um didn't see it because i'm dumb but he actually ended up becoming a beast here in year number five going up to superstar development love that cornerback group cj henderson of course who they traded for ends up being our cb1 at a 91 overall now at just 27 years old and if he can become anything close to that panthers fans are over the moon with that jc horn was a beast too 87 overall why doesn't he have a picture man i want to see jc horn's picture but he was good Dante Jackson was amazing had that pick in the Super Bowl went up to superstar development so shout out to him justice the only the only X factor this is the only, this is the first X factor I've gotten in a few rebuilds I'm not gonna lie it's been a while but we hit on him Jeremy justice the double Jeremy's with him and chin were amazing for us just year number two for him and he's already up to a 92 ridiculous Shaq Thompson um up to X factor really quick Jeremy Chin went up to superstar moved him inside the middle linebacker and I feel like that was a really great move for us it worked out it worked out in the end so I ain't gonna complain Reddick who went up to superstar getting a half a sack weird guy and then my boy Woods who I got in year one as well that's gonna be it for the video that was a fun reboot honestly we kept the core attack and we just kind of developed them into this Super Bowl winning squad, maybe this this dynasty, I don't know, not really, we only won one Super Bowl, but we made it twice, so I'm pretty happy with that outcome nonetheless, if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and comment down below any other teams you guys would like to see in the future, that would all mean the world to me, and sub, subscribe if you aren't subscribed already, you guys already know man, but that's gonna be it for me man, take care, peace. <laughs>